how is she going boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, the MTD tractor, we're working on that again today. Uh, when I first bought this tractor, uh, the drive belts on it were old, wore out. So, out they went. I ordered a couple of new ones from Amazon and I thought they were an exact replacement. But I'm not sure that they are. Anyways, when I put these new belts on the tractor, I wasn't satisfied with the performance of the tractor. First of all, uh, when when the tractor did engage to start moving, it would lurch ahead and it would be going almost full speed. Ooh, didn't like that. Because it wasn't like that with the old belts. And the other thing is, you have to push the pedal a long ways forward before you actually get it to engage. Now, it was like that with the old belts, so I'm thinking there must be an adjustment or something on that pedal that I can adjust to make that clutch uh, engage the belt sooner. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do some investigation. Find out first of all why the tractor would lurch forward with these new belts on it when it didn't with the old ones and how we can adjust the throw of the motion pedal. So let's go start the investigation, see how we may go. So we're under the tractor and this is the mechanism here and I've already loosened off this jam nut and as we push on the pedal you'll see how it engages or tensions the belts. So we loosen that, so it just should be a simple matter of now pulling that out and then shortening the distance of this shaft here, this rod that comes from the foot pedal, just shorten that. So I back this nut back, I'm going to shorten it, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, I'm going to try. I can get that out. I did have it out, and I just put it back in. So, if I get it out once, I should be able to get it out again, eh? That's sort of my philosophy. There it comes. So, now I want to tighten this up. So there's one, two, three, I'm going to go four. So let's try and put it back in place now. There you go. So we put the washer and the nut back on here. Yeah, that's about as tight as I can make it. Then we put this jam nut back on here. And we get a lot more tension with a lot less travel now. Alright, so we're going to take this wheel off, this rear wheel off the tractor, because I want to check the belts. The belts just quite aren't working right. So uh, let's take this wheel off. Oh, look at that. Comes off some easy. Put a clean, or at least put a rag over top of this axle here so that I don't get grease all over me. And I probably will, anyways. But Okay, what can I see in this belt? Not much. So, we're going to take this uh, floor pan off so I can see the belt uh, and see if everything is running okay and why it engages so quickly in gear. So, to do that, I have to take the seat off. And I think I'm also going to take the battery out because I don't need the battery. And then there's a little pan in here that holds the battery. You can take that out too. There. Slide the seat to the side. Now we can it off. Since I want to take the floor pan completely off the tractor, I have to take these foot pedals off. So there's the brake lever. I'm going to uh, get underneath the tractor now because uh, I need to get at this nut plus 
There's a couple of floor pan nuts under there as well that I need to get to. So, so down here I can get access to this other nut in the speed pedal. And then there's a nut here that holds the floor pan. And then I had to cut this uh, floor deckle here to get access to these. And those are, it looks like maybe a 3 8 one here. That's what it is, 3 8. How about that? I guess it right first try. And then this one unscrews. Okay, and then there's one other deck pan bolt that's on this, under this foot pad, pad like there was on this side. So I'll get under that and change, take that out. The shift knob has to come off, and that just pulls off. So this pan now should lift up. And with a little bit of nose wiggling, off it comes. Alright, uh, so we're in. And I know what you're going to say probably, that was an awful lot of work just to get a look at these belts. But uh, I want to see what's going on here. It seems to me that when I push down on the go pedal, it doesn't do anything and then all of a sudden it jumps ahead almost at full speed. So that's what I'm trying to do is uh, control how fast it accelerates. I think it should be a nice smooth acceleration. There's a nut on the top, and then this is a nylock nut. And then there's that keeper, and then the bolt. Now the pulley comes out. Oh yeah, let me get over here. Maybe it can fit through there. I have to take two bolts off there so I can move that side out a little. So I see some uh, pretty aggressive wear on this belt already. Plus, while I was running the tractor, I could smell rubber, rubber burning. Uh, so I don't know whether that's the right size belt or not. So this is the new belt that I bought, and I was pretty impressed with it because it seemed to be so thick and so sturdy. This is the belt that came off it. Now it definitely needs to be changed. Look at that, it's uh, falling apart, right? Uh, but when you look at it, look at the difference in width. Like a major difference in the width. So like this belt is, is narrower and it's not as thick. It is, it's quite a bit longer. Well, quite a bit, I don't know, an inch, maybe not even. So I don't know if that makes a difference or not. Uh, I'm going to put this pulley back in place. I'm trying to put everything back the way it was. And what I want to do is, I want to just snug this up, put a tension spring back on it. So then uh, this belt on the back pulley, the main pulley that goes into the, uh, the final drive there. Of course that's a variable pulley, so the belt sets into that pretty good. But here it's riding on the outside of that edge of that pulley, and on the outside of this pulley. Now the way the transmission works, it says I tension the main drive belt here, then that forces this movable disc on the drive pulley back here, it forces that up and makes this belt ride out on the pulley edge further, closer to the edge of the pulley, which means this belt travels faster. That's what makes the speed 
uh, change. So with that set up that way, we see that, you know, that's right out the edge of the pulley. What I'm thinking is, with the other belt, it sits down in the pulley and allows the speed change pulley to change speeds uh, more constant. That's what I'm thinking. We'll see here in just one second. Put that one in. So we take this belt out, put it aside, aside for now, and then we take the other belt, put it with it right here, put it on, slide it around there. I don't think I need the, the belt guide on it, or the belt guard on it, for this test. And then we'll put our tension spring back on here. So right off I noticed that this belt is down in the shiv. Uh, on here and on the tension pulley. So what's this telling me? Hmm, I wish I knew. Uh, I think because the belt, the, uh, the new belt, rides out on the edge of the shiv here more, uh, it would turn this, this pulley faster. So I think with the new belt I'd get a higher speed. But I think where I'm getting a problem is the way it changes speeds on this movable uh, variable speed pulley in here. Because the new belt has got rubber sides, uh, like it's going to slip and move on that a lot. And maybe it's just a matter of getting this belt wore in, you know, like it's a brand new belt. So maybe it just has to be driven a little bit to make it work better. That's what I'm kind of thinking. And I don't know whether I'm right or wrong. But I can't leave that pulley on, that belt on there, that's for sure. So, but you know what would be a good test? Just to put this on to see if it does change speeds easier. I'm going to do that. This is a test. I'm going to leave this old beat up belt on here. Put it like that, I think. That'll do it. Anyway, I'm going to try and gear up to do a test on here and just check to see if that uh, goes you know, if it accelerates more smoothly. And then the other thing is, I wonder, does this main belt here, is that causing the same problem in here? Because I'm sure if I measured the old belt, which is right here, you see this is the same sort of situation, but this belt is uh, long past its life, so I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to try and put this together and see what I can come up with. All right, belts, drive belts on a tractor. Simple, right? Hey, nothing to that. <laughs> well, I think I ordered the wrong ones off Amazon to start with. Uh, that was my mistake, though. But I ordered two new ones, and uh, I made sure this time that I got the width of them correctly and the length. And the part number was even an exact match, so hopefully uh, when these new belts show up, they'll work better than what I have now, because right now I've got one new one and one old one on the tractor. <laughs> anyway, it works. But I'm not real confident about it. But we'll see what happens there. Uh, changing the belts is not as complicated as I made it look here because you don't have to take the floor pan off to change your belts. But I took the floor pan off because I wanted to inspect that variable shift pulley to make sure that everything was kosher in there and that the pulleys were aligned. Because, you know, I wanted to try to understand better why it wasn't accelerating smoothly. But I was able to adjust the travel, the throw on the, uh, the travel on the motion pedal, shorten that up a little bit so that. That I think would be better. So, wasn't a, wasn't a total waste. <laughs> thanks for watching, everyone. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome and thanks a lot for dropping by. I'm so glad you're here. 
And for my regular viewers, thank you all too. And uh, how about we get a record number of thumbs up in this video? Go for it. Just a little click of the button, nothing to it. And uh, in the meantime, take care. We'll talk to you soon.